This is the first in a two-part video series that demonstrates how to use Blender to make this image where two bell peppers are splashing into a tank of water. In this first video, I'll be showing how to create the bell peppers. In the second video, I'll cover how to make them splash into a tank of water. For these videos, I'll be using Blender version 2.64. We're going to be using the Cycles Render Engine for these videos, so you need to make sure that you have it. So come over here to this drop-down menu and verify that one of the selections is Cycles Render. If you don't have it, then you can go to Blender.org to download the latest version of Blender. Let's start by creating a new project. So go to the File menu and select New, and then click on Reload Startup File. This is the default scene with a single cube. We're not going to use this cube, so delete it by first right-clicking on it to make sure that it's selected, and then press the X key on your keyboard and select Delete. Now from the Add menu, select Mesh, and then UV Sphere. Down here, we can change the number of segments that the sphere is made of. So change the segment value to 16. This will make it easier to model the bell peppers. Now press the number 1 on the number pad to switch to front view. In Blender, changing views is done with the number pad and not the numbers above the letters on the keyboard. If you don't have a number pad, then you can use the view menu. Here you can select different views and you can also see the number pad shortcuts. Now zoom in using the scroll wheel. We are currently in perspective mode, so switch to orthographic mode by pressing 5 on the number pad. And let's also switch to wireframe mode. To do that, click here and select wireframe. To reshape this sphere, we need to be in edit mode, so click right here and select edit mode. Currently the whole sphere is selected, so press the A key to deselect everything. Now make sure that vertex select is enabled. So just press this button right here. This will allow us to select individual vertices. Now press the B key on the keyboard. Then use the mouse to draw a selection box around these bottom vertices. We're going to use proportional editing to move these vertices. With proportional editing, we'll be able to move the selected vertices along with other vertices that are nearby. To enable proportional editing, click here and select Enable. Then click this next button to the right. This will allow us to choose the type of proportional editing. We want to use random, so click right here. Now when we move these vertices, the distances that they'll move will have a random element. This will help us to create a more realistic looking bell pepper. Next, press the G key. This command lets us move the selection. We want to restrict the movement to the Z axis, so press the Z key. This circle represents the proportional editing area. Use the scroll wheel to shrink this circle to about half of its size. Now move the selection up to about here and press the left mouse button. Now press A to deselect everything. Then press B and draw a selection box around these top vertices. Then press G to move the vertices and press Z to restrict the movement to the Z axis. Then pull the selection down to here and press the left mouse button. Now press A to deselect everything. Next press B again and select these vertices just below the center. Then come down here and click on this button to change the proportional editing type and select Smooth. Now press S to scale the selection. Before we actually scale this, use the scroll wheel to change the size of the circle. Increase its width to be about the same as the width of our object. Now we could scale the selection by just moving the mouse, but I know that I want to scale it by 75%. So just type 0.75 and then press the Enter key. And now press the G key to move the selection and press the Z key to restrict the movement to the Z axis. Move the selection down to here. Now press A to deselect everything. We're done with wireframe for now, so click here to select Solid. 
Then switch to Top View by pressing 7 on the number pad. We're going to be selecting some edges now, so come down here and click on the Edge Select button. Now right click on this edge to select it. We're going to be selecting multiple edges at the same time, so hold down the Shift key and then right click on this edge to add it to the selection. While still holding the Shift key, right click here, 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 and here. Now click on the Select menu and select Edge Loop. You can now press the middle mouse button and rotate the view to see what we've just selected. Next, come down here and turn off Proportional Editing by clicking here and selecting Disable. Now press S to scale the selection. We're going to scale it by 80%, so type 0.8 and then press the Enter key. If you rotate the view, you can see the overall shape that we have so far. Now switch to Top View by pressing 7 on the number pad. Press A to deselect everything, then press B and draw a selection box around the center edges. We're going to scale the selection, so press S. Then type 1.7 and press the Enter key. Now we're going to go back to wireframe mode, so click here and select wireframe. Then switch to front view by pressing 1 on the number pad. The next thing that we are going to do is to duplicate the selection and make a new object. The new object will become the stem of the bell pepper. So to duplicate the selection, hold Shift and press the D key, and press Z to restrict the movement to the Z axis. Move it up here and press the left mouse button. Now to turn this into a new object, press the P key and then click on Selection. Now to edit this object, click here and select Object Mode, then right click on the new object to select it, and then return to edit mode. Let's pan the view down now, so hold the shift key, press the middle mouse button and drag it down. We're going to extrude this object, so press the E key and pull this up, and then press the left mouse button. Now we're going to flatten out all of the selected edges, so press the S key to scale, press the Z key to scale only on the Z axis, then type 0 and press Enter. You can rotate the view to see what we have now. Press the S key again to scale, and then type 0.25 and press Enter. This will scale the selection to 25%. Now switch to front view by pressing 1 on the number pad. Then pull down the blue arrow until the top of this is flat. You can rotate and zoom to see the selection better. Next we're going to turn this selected area into a circle. So click on the Mesh menu and select Transform and then select To Sphere. Then type 1 and press the Enter key. And now press the F key to turn this into a single face. Now we're ready to make the long part of the stem. So switch to front view by pressing 1 on the number pad. Let's zoom out and pan down to make room to work. Now press E to extrude, pull up, and then press the left mouse button. Now we're going to extrude three more times, but we're going to do it a little differently. This time, hold down both the control key and the shift key. Then position the cursor to a point where the extrusion will end then click the left mouse button. Then do this two more times. Now zoom in closer. Next press E to extrude again. Pull this out some and then press the left mouse button. Then press S to scale and type 1.5 and then press Enter. Then press E to extrude and pull it out just a little and press the left mouse button. Then press S to scale and type 0.5 and then press Enter. And now press E to extrude, pull this in, and then press the left mouse button. Now switch to object mode. 
Let's scale and pan the view to position this better. Then press G so that we can move this object. Press Z to restrict movement to the Z axis and pull it down until it joins the body of the bell pepper. Now switch back to solid mode. Next, let's smooth out the sharp edges. So come over here to the left and click on the Smooth button. Then over on the right, click on the Object Modifiers tab that looks like a wrench. Then click on Add Modifier and select Subdivision Surface. Set both the View and Render values to 2. Now let's smooth out the body of the bell pepper. So right click on it to select it. Press the Smooth button. Here on the right, click on Add Modifier and select Subdivision Surface. Set both the View and Render values to 2. Now you can pan, zoom, and rotate the view to see the shape of the bell pepper. Now let's set the material for the stem. So right click on it to select it. Then click on the Material tab. Then click on the New button. And now come up here and click on this drop down menu and select Cycles Render. Then you can press the Use Nodes button. Now for the surface type, select Mix Shader. Using Mix Shader will allow us to combine two different shaders. So for the first shader, select Diffuse. And now for the second shader, select Glossy. To change the color, click right here, pull this over, and select a green color. Now pull this slider down to the center so that we can darken the color. And now repeat this for the other color. We'll set this to green and then darken it. This value sets the proportions for the two shaders. You can set this to 0 0.3. Now we're going to duplicate the pepper. The reason that I set the material for the stem before duplicating is because the duplicate stem will have the same color. However, the body of the two bell peppers will be different colors, so don't set the material until after duplicating it. So now, press 1 on the number pad to switch to front view and pan the view to the side. Now the stem is already selected, so hold down the shift key and right click on the body of the bell pepper to add it to the selection. And now with both objects selected, hold the Shift key and press D. And now you can move the duplicate. You can also press the X key to restrict movement to the X axis. And now move the duplicate to the right and press the left mouse button. Now we can set the material for the body. So right click on the left pepper to select it. Click the New button. Click here to set the shader. And just like we did with the stem, we're going to use the Mix Shader. Set the first shader to Diffuse. And set the second shader to Glossy. Now click here to set the color. Choose a red color. And pull this slider to the center to darken it. Now do the same thing for the other color. Set this to red and then darken it. Now set this value to 0 0.3. Now right click on the other bell pepper to select it. Click the New button. Just like before, select Mix Shader. Set the first shader to Diffuse and the second shader to Glossy. This time for the color, choose an orange color and darken it just a little, but not as much as we did on the previous one. And now do the same for the other color. Set this to orange and then darken it just a little. 
Now set this value to 0 0.3. The next thing to do is to group the body and stem together. This will allow us to move and rotate it as a single object. To do this, right click on the stem to select it. Then hold down the shift key and right click on the body to add it to the selection. The object that you select last will be the parent object for the group. So make sure that you select the stem first and the body last. Now press Control P and then select Object. And now repeat this for the other one. So right click on the stem to select it. Then hold down Shift and right click on the body. Now press Control P and then select Object. Well we've finished making the bell peppers so that will conclude this video. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to make the peppers splash into a tank of water. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.